also a very easy kind of question, but it is a little bit difficult when you see it for the first time. But you might have to watch this question two or three times. But once it clicks and once you understand the way to do it, it's very easy. So what we have, and I think pictures do help in these types of questions, what we have is two pumps that are filling up a swimming pool. Okay, so he has a swimming pool. And let's just draw the level like that. And what we have is a pump. So you know like a pump that they use to pump water. Um, so there's our first pump and we'll call that pump A. And then we've got another pump filling from the other side. And we'll call that pump B. It says that the two pumps could fill up this pool in five days. Okay, so um, if these two pumps are operating together, this pool could be filled up in five days. All right, I hope you just understand that part. That's important. The two pumps, when they are working together, can fill up a pool in five days. If pump A fills up the pool alone, it would take X days. Now, do you think X is going to be more than five or less than five? Well, well done if you said more. Because pump A and pump B can fill up this pool in five days. Now, if pump A is working by itself, it would obviously take a little bit longer. And then they also tell us that pump B would take two days longer than B if working alone. Okay, so for example, if pump B can do six days by itself, then pump B does eight days. All right, so I hope you understand the question. Um, I hope you understand that pump A is the stronger one because it can fill a pump, it can fill the pool in X days. Whereas pump B can fill it up in uh, X plus two days, right? Because it takes two days longer. Now, here's the secret with these types of questions. I want you to think about one day. All right. Now, when pump, let's go pump A and B. If pump A and B, here's the key, guys. This is the part you really need to pay attention to. If pump A and B work together, they can fill up this pool in five days. So then what fraction of the pool could they fill up in one day? Well, well done if you said one-fifth of the pool. One-fifth they could fill up in one day. Because if they fill up one-fifth on one day, two-fifths on two days, three-fifths on the second, third day, four-fifths, and then five-fifths, which is one whole. So in one day, pump A and B can fill up one-fifth. Okay, what about pump A? If pump A can take X days to fill up an entire pool, uh, how many days would it, or what fraction could it fill up in one day? Well, it would be one X. For example, if it takes 10 days, then in one day it can fill up one tenth. So if it takes X days, then it can fill up one over X. And what about pump B? Well, it would fill up one over X plus two. So now, surely in one day, if you add what, in one day, if you can add up what pump A does and you plus it to what pump B can do, then that'll be how much they can both do. So we can say pump A plus what pump B can do would be pump A and B together. So we can say one over X plus one over X plus two should give us one fifth. All right, you might need to go and watch that part a few more times. Not many of you are going to get that the first time because it's quite complex. Okay, so if you have gone and rewatched that a few times, and now I assume you guys are understanding where we are going, now all of a sudden we have a, quad, um, a fraction equation, and so we need a common denominator. The lowest common denominator here, or the LCD, is going to be x, x plus 2, times 5. So I'm just going to put the 5 in the front. So that means we are going to have to multiply this one over here with 5 and x plus 2. But then what you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. This one, we're going to have to multiply with 5 and x. For what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And then this one, we're going to have to multiply with x and x plus 2. And what you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. So we're going to end up with 
1 multiplied by 5 multiplied by x plus 2 over x times 5 times x plus 2 plus 1 times 5 times x over x plus 2 times 5 times x equals to 1 times x times x plus 2 over 5 times x times x plus 2. Now that the common denominators are all the same, we can ignore them. And so we simply end up with 5 multiplied by x plus 2 plus 5 multiplied by x equals to x multiplied by x plus 2. And so now we can multiply the 5 in, so it's going to be 5x plus 10 plus 5x equals to x squared plus 2x. And so it's going to give us x squared plus 2x minus 5x minus 10 minus 5x. So I'm going to make that equal to 0. And then we can solve for x. So it's going to be uh, minus 3, so it's minus 8x minus 10. And so I'd use the quadratic formula here and find that x is going to be 9 point, uh, if we round this to two decimals, it's actually going to be 1, 0, or x is going to be negative 1.10. Now remember, x is the amount of time needed for pump A, so you can't have a negative time, so that'll be a no solution over there. And so pump A takes 9.1 days if it works by itself. So pump A alone will be 9.1 days. And then pump B, if we remember correctly, pump B takes two days longer. So pump B, if it works by itself, it'll take 11.1 days. And then if they work together, then of course they take less time and that's when they take five days. But there's the answers for this one.